Creating an email template in Sales Nexus is easy. First, you want to navigate to a contact record. That can be any contact record. So from the contact list, you can click the View icon and go to that contact record. I recommend going to your My Record. You see the My Record link there. That takes you to your record within the system. And then click on the Letters tab. And in the Letters tab, you'll see your templates displayed. You want to open up the Emails and Letter Templates folder. And here you'll have some existing templates that you can start with. You can see in the Sales Nexus template library, there's a number of different things you can start with. Um, but we'll just create one from scratch. Click Add Template, and another window will come up. And here we can start creating our template. If you already have emails that you've created in another system, they can be pasted into Sales Nexus. So you can copy and paste the text and graphics, or if you want to, you can actually paste in the HTML. So if you have a graphic designer or somehow can get uh, the HTML, um, you just click the HTML button there in the toolbar and paste it right into Sales Nexus. But what we're going to do is just create one from scratch. So I might say, Dear, and then over on the right, I want to find the first name field. And double click it, and you see the mail merge field is inserted for me. And then I say, I'm looking forward to helping. And then I could go find the company field and double click that, and the mail merge field is inserted uh, with our solution. Um, Visit our website here for more information. So obviously you're going to write that email however you want it. Um, you can insert mail merge fields the way I've just done, and they, that can include your custom fields. Uh, any field that you create in SalesNexus can be used in an email or letter template. Um, and then here I might hyperlink that text. I click the hyperlink button, and a window pops up, and I select my site. Insert the URL. And then at the bottom of the email, I, I want to go over here and select My Record Field. So what this is telling the system is I want to insert my... Uh, mail merge fields, but these mail merge fields will be pulled from your My Record. So I'm going to select the contact name and the phone number. So that's going to pull my name and my phone number from My Record and put it into every one of these emails that goes out. So it'll be personalized not only for the customer who receives the email, but also for me and my team. So everybody on my team can use the same template, but when they send it, it'll be personalized with their information. And then finally, let's put some graphics and things in here. Let's say I want to have my logo at the top. I just make a little space for it just by hitting Enter. And right here, click on Insert Edit Image and I can upload my logo. So let me go find that. There's my logo file. Upload that and then it'll be in this library. So next time you want to add it to a template it'll already be in this little list. I click on it and I say insert. Now, if you want to play with the way that's presented, uh, whether it's centered or left or right, justified, etc., cetera, um, you can click on it and then click the Insert Edit Image button again 
or you can do this while you're inserting it originally and you can see here on the appearance tab you can change a lot of those properties so you can add as many different graphics as you want anywhere in the um, email and then at the top you want to give it a name and we want to select a mailing list so this is the opt-in list that this template will be associated with so when you send this template out to a list of people the systems automatically going to make sure that they're opted into that list so I'm going to select my default if this is your first time doing this with sales nexus that's going to be your best bet and then also you want to make sure and select enable email send form so just uh, FYI if you just want to create a letter template to print out letters just don't check the email enable email send and it'll be a letter template everything else is the same if you want more information about creating mailing lists and opt-in lists and so on um, watch our video on doing your first email blast um, and in there the first thing we cover is setting up the mailing list originally but that's all there is to it. Um, all your contacts that you enter into Sales Nexus manually or load in through an import are automatically opted into the default list. So that's why that's your best bet. Hit save at the bottom and we're done. We have an email template. So if I want to send that to myself now, I'm on my record like we went to earlier and now I'm going to click my email and right click it and say open and put in a subject and hit send and that's a great first step you want to always send it to yourself make sure you see what it looks like after it comes into your mail client and make any edits uh, that may be required by going back to that template and hitting edit 